You go out in society, people will want to talk to you at times about the Bible, particularly in the United States of America with various theological schemes that have dominated men's minds about the last times and everybody, well not everybody, many people think they know what's, what's happening. Oh, we're in the last of the last times. Look at the political situation and they, they attach significance to this or this or this. They want to talk to you about the book of Revelation and what the horsemen are in the book of Revelation. Do you know what they miss? The very first chapter of that book. The glory of Christ unto him who hath loved us and washed us from our sins and has made us kings and priests unto God. You bring that in, the conversation will end. What about the millennium? What do you think it is? Revelation chapter 20. Well, I don't really know, you might say, but I know this. At the end of that chapter, we're all at the great white throne judgment. And if you're not in Christ, you're going to hell. They don't want to hear that. Well, they'll talk to you about Russia in the past and Russia's Gog and Magog. No, they'll talk to you about all kinds of things going on in the Middle East and the significance of the, the, the nation of Israel and why they're so bound up supporting this political entity. But you press the matter of their soul and its relation to Jesus Christ and life and death and heaven and hell and the obligation to fall before him and become his disciple and you'll discover Oftentimes, this religious interest is nothing more than a curiosity. You can do it right in the midst of this congregation. All you have to do is come to church and ignore the implications of what is preached. Here is Christ. What will you do with him? <laughs> 